But what do I film? Bye, Mom. Love you. Are you done? Film something. Okay, bye. What in the world am I supposed to film whenever I've got this guy constantly distracting me? For me at least, it's one of the hardest things is to sit down and actually dedicate my time, a prolonged amount of time, to work. Yeah, just to work. Especially when I feel like every time I sit down and focus on the task right in front of me, there's all these different distractions and things yelling at me, hey, don't work, just pleasure, just consume, just put it off. It's so easy these days just to put it off and pick up your phone and begin the endless what we call doom scrolling or trying to find the end of the internet which spoiler alert you can't find gosh dang it i need to put my other lens on because this is far too bright and then when i'm scrolling i find that i'm looking at other youtubers and comparing my work to theirs and these excuses ultimately take the place of your dreams every person has two lives so when i feel inspired to go film i'm constantly comparing and thinking damn why can't I make content like that? And here comes an airplane just to mess up the whole video, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna keep it going. So then it becomes the game of comparison. And I compare myself to others by watching their videos and I feel like what I'm making doesn't matter, which is not true because it does, because you guys watch it. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall. So it's that endless cycle that never ends of watching, comparison, and then you don't even make stuff and you're stuck feeling bad about it. It's better to post something bad than nothing at all. And this saying is something I have to remind myself of all the time. It's what I go back to anytime I don't want to post something. I tell this to myself and it most of the time gives me the courage to say, hey, this is good and I'm going to post it because it truly isn't bad. It's not what I think. If I just pick the camera up and publish it, then I step into the light and things start to happen. That sounded corny as hell, but I'm going to rock with it. And it's a lot of work. People don't think creating or doing YouTube videos and social media is hard. But let me tell you, it is hard. In fact, it's a full-time job, if not more than that. You have to be your own director, writer, choreographer, editor, uh, color grader, producer, publisher, all of that in one. And if you're all of those things, the motivation quickly diminishes because it's a creative job. You constantly have to expand your brain and think differently and do different things in order to get the shots you want to create a better story and a better video. But if I find if I can just pick the camera up and start filming something, it makes it that much easier. It's like a burden is lifted off my shoulders and I can kind of piece the story together once I pick the camera up. And I want to post that YouTube video. I want to create more content and give myself something to look back on, give you guys something, and really push my boundaries, experiment with how creative I really can be. But with that in mind, it's just a breeding ground for the idea. Maybe what I'm filming isn't that good. So that's why it's always important for me to keep in mind. I know that's a crude saying, but if you sort out the negatives, the positives usually tend to work themselves out. At least that's what I found. I know I switched pants and put some shoes on, but I wanted to say it's not even that it's bad. In fact, the content that you'd make probably be pretty good. In fact, I believe everybody has a story of their own. That's just 
you know, something I've got to work out is comparing myself to others. I think that was an excellent take. I like where this is going and I hope you can maybe relate to where this is going. Maybe not, but let me wrap this up for you really quick. The moral of the story is that I'm not trying to preach at you. I'm not trying to tell you what to do or how you should do it. This is just what I do when I experience burnout and the things that cause me to feel burnt out. I find if I can put down the phone and put down the distractions that great things tend to follow. Do with this information what you will. Yeah, I think that's all I gotta say. Maybe I throw this together, see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm excited. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe I just chuck it. Maybe I'll delete it. Maybe I'll delete it. it. Hold on. Throw it in the trash.